Hi, this is Miranda from My Scrappy Life and welcome back to my channel. This is another process video for Confessions of the Paper Addict cup files where I am going to use this cup file called Leaves in my layout. So what I decided to do is, is that I am trying to use up the, no, the October um, hip kits and I'm down to like little to nothing paper. So I went into my stash and tried to find some stuff that matches and I found this Simple Stories collection. Now I think it came out last year because I have not used a lot of my fall stuff right now. But um, essentially everything does still turn out and it works really well. The colors match. And I think it's because of the papers that I used inside the leaves. Obviously I backed the cup file off camera because it's so much easier and... Because of my hands, it takes a little bit longer because it's such tidy, it's small. It's small little increments that I put them in, so it takes me a little bit longer to do. Yippee yippee. Um, but, essentially, I put this, pap this piece of paper on the wrong side, and then this got stuck. So here I go, I try to fix this, and then you'll see me in the magic of YouTube that it's all fixed and the paper's put down. And so I cut this little jean thread um, piece of paper off because I wanted it to be kind of like the leaves sitting on, I don't know, the leaves sitting on it. And in retrospect, it gets covered a little bit anyway, or quite a bit actually, but it still, it still peeks through, which is what I like. And so I've got four photos. Obviously, I'm still trying to finish up my pumpkin festival photos so that those are done. And I think I probably got like maybe two to three more layouts left, which is pretty good. Because I think each festival that I went to while we were in Germany has about seven to eight layouts, maybe nine total. So that's not bad. Um, so these here are of the sculptures that they make there, I guess, or pumpkin, I would say pumpkin sculptures. And they're really good. And so this one was all about Rome or what they call Romer. And all of the favorite little things about Rome was there. So like this, um, two things that you see sitting down there it, or that I've already done is the Colosseum. This here one is uh, one of the big fat dudes and I cut something off a little bit because I don't mind. I can't remember what every one of them is called because it's been since 2017 that I did this. So I can't quite remember. This has a tail behind it too and it's got, um, it's like a bear with um, animals drinking from them. And Kaylin was like, mom, mom, you got to take the picture in front of, in front of this because I think it's cool. And I'm like, okay. But there's a story behind it or like some type of like meme quote unquote regarding this. So I was like, all right, fine. So that's that one photo that's off to the side where you just see this big old fat head and then my daughter. And then these three pieces right here, these three photos. And I think it turns out really well. I was going to, um, I do put them back up on foam tape where the leaf cup file sits down. Now, I wanted the focal point to be a little bit more of the photos versus the cut file. Even though that the cut file I cut kind, you know, big and it looks, um, colorful and all of that kind of stuff I still wanted the focal point to be on the photos and that would be the second focal point so I think I achieved that um sorry for my nose or the way I sound allergies are high I do know that I don't have any sinus infection right now or any of that sort but it's just been I think it's a year where I normally both my husband my daughter and I normally don't ever get sick. Like, we just don't. But because I'm in school and because I'm teaching, now I'm around all these grubby, mubby kids. I love them, but they don't know how to keep themselves clean and, you know, all of that. So I think because I'm subject subjecting myself to them for the first time, um, like, all year. Because when I substitute, it's not as bad. But, um... Because I'm not with them every day, all day long. And I'm with third graders. It's a whole different story. Like, I would normally substitute for middle school. But this, I do now in third grade. So they're a little bit dirtier than middle school. Although, middle school boys can be just as dirty. Um, 
But anyway, so here I am. I'm placing all these leaves on the, just tucking them here and there all the way around and just making it look very fallish with the pumpkins that I have. And so I, it works really well. My title is going to be, I found a sticker that's called um, Autumn Days, I think. Yeah, it's called Autumn Days. And then I find another sticker that says, or yeah, a word sticker that says love. And I state love Autumn Days. Because we do really, I love the fall. I love that I can drink pumpkin spice all day long and nobody gets, you know, nobody says anything of the wiser. Now I know I could definitely stock up and drink way more pumpkin than I ever do. But, um, but anyway, yeah, so there. Um, let's see here. I'm just placing down some of the frames just to add a little bit of some type of dimension behind the photograph. And then I do place this heart in a pumpkin spice or an autumn. What is at the top? Autumn time is what's on that drink. And it's a coffee mug. And I just love how this turns out. I think it turns out really well. So make sure that you go check out the Confessions of the Paper Attic Cup File Shop. It'll be all linked down below along with the group. I do know we have gotten a sneak peek. Well, okay, I'll just face it. We've gotten all the cup files for the month of December. And I am telling you, you're going to want to go over and make sure that you are got this as a love in your Etsy shop um, profile. You are connected to us on Facebook. Because she has got, Virginia has got a ton, ton of things going on for us. And she is releasing a ton of cup files. So you've got, you've got to just go check it out. Like, I, I don't even know. I'm like overwhelmed because I don't know which cup files I want to use. And I don't want to use cup files on all of my layouts, but I think that's what's going to happen. I think all of my Christmas layouts you're going to see in the month of December and January because I am going to finish up every year. I always finish up the year behind of December daily so that I don't have to stress about trying to print out photos. So I scrapbook a year behind. I have Sparkles, which is my daughter's um, elf on the shelf. And I also have my December documented um, stuff that I do. So essentially, I've got a lot to do, and there are a ton of cup files that I can use. I cannot wait. So, that means you guys have to check them out. Alright, um, so I'm just finishing up. This is my title. I do come in with some sequin, or some sequins, some splatters from Shimmers, which is Autumn Days. I do, um, do my journaling lines, but I do them off camera. I do my journaling off camera. Even still, I don't know what I want to put down yet, um, but I'm going to talk about the sculptures that we see every year, or that we did see every year when we were um, close to this market. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to leave you with that. I am super close to my 2,000 subscriber. I would love to have you. I would love to be able to give away my um, 2,000 subscriber because I've got a real big doozy one of them. I'll give away... When I hit 2000, I would love to be able to do this in the, the year of 2019. I know that we're coming close. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. And I hope that you hit that subscribe button. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. And I'm going to leave you with finishing up just a little bit of this. Some splatters are coming up. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.